Greetings, I am Schrodinger Deeps, and this is The Art of War, Destructive Innovation. Conflict has been a driving force of innovation since the dawn of humanity, an evolution of technology driven by the will to survive, defend and defeat. Never before has a weapon platform been realised as devastating as the submarine. A willful pursuit of a destructive ambition within one of nature's most unforgiving and deadly realms. A creeping assassin. Submarine warfare is about patience. A submarine must be silent. The crew will use engineering skill and science to silently move their killing machine into position, holding one's nerves against the intense pressure of the environment and the violence of the enemy. Every iteration of technology is an engineer in marble, marching in pace with the will of the enemy to defeat you. These early submarines were not the effective war machines of today. A concept filled with potential, it failed and evolved multiple times, but the destructive innovation of the war machine drives the hammer of progress. By World War II, submarines were fully capable of dragging their surface enemies into their domain. The men who operated these machines were met with disdain from command, despite the terrible plight they faced. The first Sea Lord, Admiral Sir Arthur Wilson, complained that submarines were underhand, unfair and damned un-English, and that personnel should be hanged as pirates. An affront to the men who dare to live beneath the waves in service from then until now. Hence, Lieutenant Commander Max Horton began flying the Jolly Roger in direct defiance, a tradition that continues to this day. As the weapon evolved, so did the means to combat it. During World War II, the German U-boat fleet suffered extremely heavy casualties, losing 793 U-boats and approximately 28,000 submariners, a 75% casualty rate, the highest of all German forces during the war. Sir Winston Churchill said, Of all the branches of men in the forces, there is none which shows more devotion and faces grimmer perils than the submariners. And so the technology evolved, until the present day. Submarines could dive deeper and stay dived longer. They became quieter and acquired far better sensors. And as they became ever more devastating, so did the methods of defense from a submerged enemy. Aircraft no longer relied on only sight. They gained the ability to listen beneath the waves and even detect anomalies in the Earth's magnetic signature to deliver death to the submariners below the waves.
passing 500 feet. Con sonar lost contact. Putting in the engine room. With the dawn of the nuclear age, they gained almost unlimited endurance and the ability to covertly enter any ocean on Earth. Now having multiple roles, they are spies, special forces delivery vehicles, reconnaissance experts, going unseen for months at a time. The Missile Age brings with it a new arms race submarines and surface counterparts alike continue to innovate offensive and defensive capabilities at an ever alarming rate. But none of this compares to the exponential growth and destructive potential of the atom. Regardless of friend or foe, all those serving beneath the waves share a common bond of understanding. A profound respect for one another. They are all my brothers in arms. Thanks for watching.